Welcome back to another episode from Your Favourite Ant Keeper. This is The Colonialist, and today we're going to look at Meso Arenarius, or Arenarius, however it's pronounced. This is the second largest harvest ant found across the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, Israel, Kuwait, and Algeria. This colony was a gift from Jack, who's a fan of the channel, and he set it up through Ants Davy. He named the queen, Queen Phoenicia. I've been completely humbled and blown away by the kindness that I've been showed by Jack. So thank you very much. He wanted to add this species to the channel so that I could bring you content and we can all enjoy this species together. This is a comparison of Mesor Arenarius next to Mesor Barbarus and the size difference. Most of these workers in the Mesor Arenarius colony are still nanitics. Although they are larger than normal as I've been feeding the queen fruit flies uh, wax worms and also different types of seeds. There's a big difference between the behavior in Mesor Arenarius and Mesor Barbarus. Mesor Arenarius are incredibly confident as a species and so far even though I've offered the queen a darker solution she's happy to sit in the test tube in the light. She's very confident and happy and they're not too disturbed by uh, vibrations and sound as much as Mesor Barbarus are. The queen is roughly the width of a one pound sterling coin, which I find quite funny. I must confess I've had the queen for a little while. When I first received her, she had sadly eaten her brood. This is very common with mesor species when they are too stressed and being moved around too much. It was going to happen. It's not a bad thing. She has bounced back. I mean, just look at the amount of brood she has and look at the nice, big, fat, juicy larvae waiting to turn into a pupae. It's an exoskeleton pupae for this species and actually the ant that you see guarding the larvae, she's a freshly hatched nanitic so she's only enclosed recently, in fact earlier today, I, sadly I was unable to catch it on camera. This species has surprised me with their confidence, they're so easy to keep. Like Barbarus, Mesoaranarius are monogene which means they have one ruling queen. These queens can be a huge 20 millimeters and are a shiny black colour. They have the trait of polymorphism and the majors can grow up to a huge 18 millimetres. The colony is best kept between 21 degrees celsius and 26 degrees celsius. Being a mesor species, their keeping is similar to mesor barbarous with humidity. You want around 30% humidity for the seed storage, up to 50% humidity maximum, but up to 70% humidity in the nest and in the ant bread making areas. I noticed during filming that they need a new water reservoir, so I've prepared one for them. Hopefully they'll move into the 3D printed foundation nest for larger species from Ants Ants UK. If you haven't seen the review, I'll drop a link in the description, so check that out. This species does hibernate from the end of November until February and should be kept at around 15 degrees Celsius. Queens are said to live for up to 25 years and can create a colony of up to 10,000 plus individuals. In the beginning of the episode you may have noted that I said that Mesor Arenarius are the second largest species of Mesor. They are only surpassed by Mesor Cephalotes. Its queens are 23 to 25 millimeters. They're huge with black and red markings. This brings us to the end of the episode. Let me know your thoughts on Mesor Arenarius. Are you excited to follow this colony? I know I'm sure excited to bring you the content. So until next time, guys, this is The Colonialist, signing out.